have the new Digital Projection eVision 4000 4K, the latest projector, newest addition to the lineup of eVision projectors that Digital Projection is going to start shipping in December. What makes this projector truly unique from the other projectors that are currently in the lineup is that this one is smaller, lighter, less expensive, quieter, and in many respects has more advanced features than the other projectors. So it truly is cool for custom installation. Let's talk about the size first. We are 19 wide, 16 inches front to back, but you'll see that the connections are all on the back. So without using right angle cords, if I wanna leave plenty of room, three inches, you know, I want at least 18 and a half, 19 inches front to back. That's still very shallow to be able to fit this in a soffit. So how does it ventilate? No holes on the front, no holes on the back. It ventilates side to side. As you see it facing now, air comes in on the right side of the projector, exhaust out on the left side of the projector. Mechanically, this projector has two leveling feet in the front. Of course, it's got holes for a ceiling mount bracket. You've got a single lens that comes with this projector it's a zoom ratio of 1.13 to 1.71. It focuses and zooms mechanically from the front. We also have on the top, hidden top panel here, two adjustments for lens shift for vertical and horizontal. Now, the specs currently rate this at 60% lens shift vertical, but we took some measurements here and on our table, we're 29 inches high. And on our screen, we've got a 54 inch tall screen and it's starting at 46 inches off the floor. That's a 17 inch lens shift and that's about a third of the screen height. So I don't know what the final will end up being when this projector is shipping, but it's a lot, a lot more than we have with the other eVision projectors. This is a laser phosphor projector. It uses an eight segment color wheel. So although it's a single chip, you're far less likely to see the rainbow artifacts that you might see on other eVision projectors that only use a four segment color wheel. This is perhaps the most difficult test pattern for any projector, especially 4K projector to perform. It's one pixel on, one pixel off, 3840 by 2160. And this will show you if a projector is really capable of doing 4K properly or not. Now my wall has texture to it, so I'm gonna hold up a piece of screen fabric for you to see this. If you look at that, you can clearly see when you have one pixel on, one pixel off on a diagonal, that's exactly what you get. That doesn't get any better than that. Color bars, well, I know this is unfair because we're shooting this on a phone and you're watching it on who knows whatever, but the colors are saturated, the yellow looks yellow. You'll see that we have the projector calibrated so that we should be able to just see our plush bar down here in the lower right. Okay, here we go. That's a black level pattern, not crazy exciting. Here's a white pattern. Um, contrast, you can see, is set per, uh, properly and gray scale looks really good at the upper end. This is a Gradient pattern shows you the transition from black to white. Very little coloration in the grayscale out of the box. And this is the happy uh, family. And um, you can see yellow, blue, red, green, blue, everything's, sorry, cyan. They're all in here, all the colors. So if you look at some of the measurements that we took, you'll see uh, we did a little bit of calibration on this. We didn't calibrate the primary color points, uh, but you can see they are outside of Rec. 709. So clearly we would be able to bring them into Rec. 709. Um, really nice color out of the box. Okay, so Apple TV. Uh, let's look at something on YouTube. And I don't know if you can see that through the camera phone, through whatever your device you're watching this on, but that looks really sharp and uh, detailed and the colors look really natural.
Don't get too close. It's a wild animal. <laughs> okay, let's check out a little bit of Apple TV. Oh, baby driver. Well, I don't know if you can hear the audio, but that's actually playing out of a little speaker in the projector, which is nice to have when you're doing testing so you get a sense of what you're doing. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. Um, oh, I love laser light. Don't try this at home. I'll see you out there.